O God of wind and flame, like a rushing wind, your spirit moved upon the first disciples on that day of Pentecost. And like a purifying fire, your spirit seared their hearts and minds with the message of salvation. Send your spirit upon your church in this time and place. Stir up our courage and rouse us for prophetic witness that we might join with them to proclaim to the world your mighty deeds of power in Jesus Christ. Join us as we proclaim the joys you have given us this week that a 90-foot pine tree falling on an old shed can lead to new golf clubs. That of Eddie Van Halen distortion pedal does exactly what it says it does. That a Baltimore Oriole landed on the feeder. That a neighbor's son is safely arrived at his deployment in Afghanistan. That Andrew came home from the hospital. That a client made sure that we knew we were appreciated and valued. That we were able to help a neighbor tidy up their lawn and have a visit on the porch at the same time that Becca has received her diploma. O oh God of wind and flame, come closer as we recite the concerns which have weighed us down this week. Helene, Carol's friend from work who has an aggressive cancer on her liver. The friends and family of Dennis, Donna's cousin, who passed away in his 90s. For the people of Hong Kong, struggling to protect the political system they want. For the campers of Camp Tevia, who will not be gathering this summer. For Polly, John Panto's sister, who's recovering from surgery to remove skin cancer lesions on her face. For Donna's family, as they seek the best solution for dealing with her mom's dementia. For graduating college seniors who are facing a challenging path to the next phase in their life. For Jane, that she might be well. For the people of Brazil struggling to bury their dead for the residents of assisted living and nursing homes who have been confined to their rooms and who are longing for company. Send your healing spirit upon those who are sick in body or mind. Restore them to health and restore them to the joy of salvation. Teach us to be good neighbors, to live in peace with one another and in friendship and share the joys and burdens of daily life. Bless our children, protect them from danger, and help parents and caregivers nurture them so that they may mature in wisdom and grow in grace. Bless our enemies and show us how we may do good to them for the sake of Jesus Christ. In your mercy, O God of wind and flame, receive our prayers and according to your wisdom, provide all that we need through Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer.